the ratification of the 19th Amendment, which granted women the right to vote, was a watershed moment in US history. The traveling exhibit, She Changed the World, featuring rarely seen artifacts and documents from the state's archives, highlights North Carolinian women's participation in the suffrage movement. This year we're celebrating the centennial of women's suffrage with the passage of the 19th Amendment in August of 1920. And that amendment to the Constitution allowed for full women's suffrage in any federal and state election. We've prepared a small traveling exhibit that features some of the treasures of the suffrage uh, debate, including uh, materials from both sides of the argument, including the original 19th Amendment coming from our vault collection. There were several attempts to pass a bill for women's right to vote in the North Carolina legislature, but they didn't go so well. I would point out that on this 1897 bill, uh, yeah. they referred it to the Committee on the Insane. <laughs> <laughs> so it didn't go very far in consideration. You could, you could tell what they thought of the bill correct, itself, correct. right? So we have an interesting document in our collection and in the exhibit uh, that comes from 1920, when both North Carolina and Tennessee were considering the 19th Amendment. And the North Carolina House of Representatives sends a telegram to the leaders in Tennessee saying, please don't ratify the 19th Amendment and we'll do the same. And so an interesting fact is, while Tennessee did push the 19th Amendment over the top and it became part of the Constitution, North Carolina did not formally ratify the 19th Amendment until 1971. Several North Carolinian women played pivotal roles in leading the women's suffrage movement. And the exhibit features numerous images and their stories. Two of the notable women uh, around 1920 were Gertrude Wheel, who was both the president of the Equal Suffrage Association when the 19th Amendment was ratified, and then became the founder and first president of the League of Women Voters of North Carolina. And then in 1920, Lillian Exum Clement, from Asheville, North Carolina, was the first woman in any Southern state to serve in the legislature. Black women did participate in the suffrage movement. They were vocal about um, wanting, needing, and requiring access to voting rights. But again, they were excluded because of their color. So Charlotte Hawkins Brown um, is well known for being one of our state's and honestly nation's foremost educators, but she was also an activist and a staunch advocate for social justice. Although the 19th Amendment granted all women the right to vote, voter suppression continued to disenfranchise people of color until the passage of the Voting Rights Act of 1965. This manifested itself in a number of ways. You had poll taxes, grandfather clauses, um, literacy tests that created barriers for African Americans to vote, and um, African American women were um, a part of that, subject to those same restrictions. American Indians were not given the right to vote until 1965, and that was not that long ago. Women fought very hard for this right. American Indians fought very hard for this right. So we want everybody to, to be able to, to, to voice their opinion, to let their voices be heard. 100 years have passed since women were granted the right to vote, but challenges remain. The League of Women Voters of Wake County first met in September of 1920, and our mission through the almost 100 years of our history has been uh, relatively unchanged. It's about empowering voters and defending democracy. So of course we do a lot of voter registration. We host a lot of candidate forums uh, across the nation in our municipalities, uh, and we do some advocacy work in a nonpartisan way. The traveling exhibition, She Changed the World, launched at the state capitol in late August and similar events will be happening across the state throughout 2020. So come visit our website for links to resources including events and locations around the state and other online historical and image resources. The She Changed the World exhibit is on display at the North Carolina State Capitol at 1 East Edenton Street in Raleigh. 
other 20th Amendment events are going on all over the state. So check out the North Carolina Department of Cultural Resources website at ncdcr.gov to find out more.